say hello. Birthday girl over there. Yes, uh, <laughs> birthday baby over here. <laughs> but today is even my birthday. Well, by proxy, <coughs> be mommy's birthday. Yeah. Hi. I'd have an iced tea, please. Sweeter and sweet. Sweet. So I want I want shrimp, I want corn. How many corn? Like the full corn. It's gonna be a third. A third. So two of that. And then any and then I potatoes. I didn't get that. Two potatoes for $2.50. Okay. Sure. I'm surprised there's no platter though. Like there should be something that has everything that we just pay off one. Yeah, I'm so sorry. We used to do it, but not anymore. Yeah. And that's why we came. Yeah. Oh, we can, we can still do that. So we are here celebrating the birthday of my girl over here. Before I start to make my journey home, <laughs> the birthday girl is having a great time. Yes, we did make up, we took pictures. Look at us go. <laughs> we even recorded a video. Look at both of us. <laughs> and our assistant young woman over here helping <laughs> with a fro. My extended daughter. Oh, you don't want to smile? I can tickle you in public. You know that, right? You know that. <laughs> So pour it on the table. Okay, so we've ordered our seafood, everything. <laughs> Hopefully, when it comes, are they going to give us aprons? Yes, of course. Okay, like, um, like rubber. Okay. Anywho, we're here to eat. We're hungry. We're waiting for our food now. hours later okay our birthday dinner is over how do you feel soft um yes i am stuffed I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's the food was really good yeah the food was really good i'm happy i tried anyway you guys it's getting dark now it's my la can you turn on this light it's my last night in dallas <laughs> 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 this was a very nice way to say peace out see you later the food was really good we have a couple of stops to make and then we will head home and somebody will need to pack a bag because i'm heading out first thing in the morning yeah tomorrow i'm already checked in so i can't afford to be late so that um what happened in 1974 will not happen again <laughs> please don't ask us what happened in 1974 <laughs> we're not here <laughs> anyway i'll come chat with you guys later bye bye the next day there's no journey home begins I'm at the airport now just waiting to check in it will not be for another 14 minutes before I'm able to check my luggage in I've already checked in online so just waiting to check in my luggage go through security and off to Canada we go it's been real Dallas thank you thank you Dallas it's been real so done with security now gone through all of the screening all of the checks I found my boarding gate um, there's a flight boarding right now boys going to Montreal Toronto should be boarding within the next hour or so just here sitting and chilling and waiting for my flight to board the next time I check with you guys will most likely be when I touch down Toronto um, 
I got a I got a wrap from Chick Fil A. Well, um, because I had to leave early, I didn't have breakfast. Okay, that was it. Was for the flight to Montreal. Because I had to leave the house early, I didn't have anything to eat, so I just grabbed a wrap from Chick Fil A. Again, <laughs> had I'm seen too many things on TikTok, so I was gonna try it out. But yeah, it was okay. It was okay. One more reminder that things on social media can be over overrated and over exaggerated. If we haven't already, I need all Air Canada passengers on flight 8812, so that includes on 1, 2, 3, and 4 to please line up. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys when I get to Toronto, okay? Eventually. Okay, people. I'm waiting at Toronto Piercing International Airport waiting for my connecting flight to Saskatoon. I received notification that the flight has been delayed by an hour, so takeoff time is now 11.35 p.m., which means I get home just shy of 1 a.m. Central Standard Time, which is Saskatoon time, which will be 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so adventure. I can't believe that I used 2 hours 50 minutes to get from the US into Canada and it's taking me the whole day to get from Toronto to Saskatoon. Story of my life. Anyway, the wait continues guys. I would come chat with you guys tomorrow and give you guys some updates and just tell you how I really feel about all of this. I'll tell you guys really what, what that's doing to my head and yeah, give you guys the update later still in the lounge thankfully it's still open until midnight so i can be here um it's the air canada maple leaf lounge i can be here until my flight time so thank god it's not gonna close before my flight takes off so something to smile about at least some silver lining but yeah i'll talk to you guys soon one eternity later hey guys welcome back to the vlog yes i'm home now I'm in Saskatoon now and it's been a couple of days guys if I'm going to be honest it's been a couple of days since I got back on that trip and I've just been tired I've been really tired and I'm back to work now so I needed a break I needed a bit of uh, a break from the camera so I just when I got home put the camera away like soak the moment be reunited with my family and just yeah I just needed to take a break from the vlogging and you guys that trip on the way back I told you guys I was going to come and tell you guys how I was really feeling about the trip, especially the trip back, guys. That trip had me feeling some type of way and <laughs> ah, it wasn't funny at all. It wasn't funny. For the first time in seven years, that trip had me feeling like living in Saskatchewan was a disadvantage. And the major reason is how difficult travel is from saskatchewan especially international travel i find it very frustrating like i don't know that particular one especially the return no it's not even the return leg that particular trip just showed me how much time we actually waste in having to travel somewhere before you can catch an international flight and sometimes there's like so much wait time there's so much um, layover that you have to do just because you don't live in a place that's an international hub, guys. It's it, it got to me this time. It got to me the trip to Dallas. If I lived in Ontario, I would have shown up at the airport that morning, maybe like 6 a.m., and three hours later, I would have been in Dallas. Three hours, all it would have taken me was leave my house at six. Long story short, go through custom, go through security, flying time. By 12 noon here in Dallas, for me, I had to travel overnight to do the same thing. I left Saskatoon at 2 p.m. on Thursday. I left Saskatoon at 2 p.m. on a Thursday and got to Dallas at 11 a.m. the next morning. Like I had to do the overnight layover. Like I slept in the airport overnight just because that was the only option I had. The other option as against staying overnight in Toronto would have been traveling somewhere else, like from Saskatoon somewhere, and then from that place to another place before I catch the flight. And I'm like, for God's sake, for God's sake, really. It was a lot of time to waste on the trip to, and the trip from, 
I feel like that one was just the icing on the cake. Sitting at the airport. It was like 1 p.m. We touched down in Toronto until 11.30 p.m. Before that flight took off from Toronto. I got home at 2 a.m. The next day, you guys, for a flight, I used three hours to fly into the country. I used 12 hours to get home within the same country, guys. It got to me. It really got to me. Like, ha, ah, it just had me feeling so bad. Like, is this a good idea? Is it time to move? Is it time to go somewhere else? Like, I thought about everything while I was sitting there. And this is me. I had lounge access because my ticket was priority class. So, it gave me access, complimentary access to, like, the lounge. So, there was free food. There was unlimited food and drinks. So, I was comfortable, relatively comfortable. And it was still such a painful experience just sitting down there and just waiting that long. Like, so, guys... <laughs> this is our Saskatchewan is like should I reconsider I thought about everything like I said I was having a conversation with my husband like it was painful he could touch my pain like baby it's okay just calm down I know how you're feeling because you're in the moment but this is me hoping and praying and believing God for more um, paid travel where brands I work with brands and they will fly me out to do the things that we want to do together like this can be a disadvantage like if the ease of travel is difficult from where I am, they'll consider people who are in places where travel is easier. So I'm just here thinking like, God, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to use my emotions to make any decisions until you tell me to move, I'm here. But and I started questioning like, did I even hear from God before I even came to this place? Who sent me? Really, what was I thinking? <laughs> like, you know when you're thinking about some things, everything just becomes magnified. That's how I was feeling that day, you know. And that's why I didn't want to record. Like if I'd recorded how I was feeling in the moment, guys, it would have been bad. It would have been a very negative, negative kind of vibe that I would have given off. So I needed some days to just calm down, let the emotions wear off. But yeah, that's how I was feeling that day. But thankfully, I got home safely. My luggage arrived because these days with Air Canada, when you travel and your bag gets there, it's Thanksgiving, it's testimony we used to go and give now. Uh, my family's fine. Everybody's fine. Um, we're doing okay. We're planning for yet another trip, but this time it's going to be as a family. This one is work-related. For now, I just thought I could come end this here. Thank you guys so much for all your good wishes. Dallas was fun. It was just very hot. But the next time I go back, it will be for more fun reasons. And I can do some more and explore some more and then share more experiences with you guys. But for now, we're going to we're back to the grind. Continue to hustle. Continue the hustle, man, because <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. Um, and until I come your way in the next video, it is Marina. You're still your girl. Still your girl. Even if you people have abandoned me small, but still your girl any day, any time. Your girl, Marina, saying thank you and have an awesome day. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, oh.